Hey everyone, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, wanted to quick show you how to solve one of the major problems with Wonderlist, the task management system of setting up recurring tasks. I know it's kind of a problem uh, for everyone and I know that uh, Wonderkinder um, has said that it's on their to-do list but they have yet to come out with a solution for it. So I have found out that um, using this latergator.ca website to set up recurring emails, you can email your Wonderlist account and set up recurring tasks. So what I'm going to do here is, as you're familiar with Wonderlist, you can email me at wonderlist.com from your own email account and it will insert those tasks using this site latergator.ca it's a Canadian company um, to set up those recurring emails uh, it does work with Wonderlist and put those tasks in your task management system so um, I've tried a few other sites that are like this and for whatever reason Wonderlist doesn't seem to um, parse the, the email out correctly and I've tried a bunch of variations but this does work so I'm gonna log into my account here at latergator and you're going to see I have uh, a number of pending uh, e recurring emails already set up. One thing to quick note about this is I believe you can set up four recurring emails in the system uh, registering for the free access to the site. To register for premium access to set up unlimited recurring emails it's going to cost you $11 a year. I emailed the uh, gentleman who runs this site. It took him actually a few days to get back to me. He said that wasn't very typical. Um, it sounds like a pretty small operation, but I did PayPal him $11 and I do have premium access uh, for the site, so maybe uh, maybe later Gator will be nice enough to uh, give the viewers of this video uh, um, a, che a little cheaper access. What I'm going to do is just set up one recurring email here uh, as an example of how I use this and I'm gonna just click here on create new email it's gonna come from my email address and I'm gonna type in I've created a contact called Wonderlist with that address is me at wonderlist.com it will when you register you want to choose the email address that you use to uh, register your Wonderlist account because it's going to set up the mask on the email it sends as it's coming from your account which is how Wonderlist is going to determine where to put that that um, that task into. So you can set up the subject. Whatever you put in the subject is going to be the task list that Wonderlist uses to insert it. I you typically use the inbox. Um, that's typically where you want these things to go. But particularly if you have, um, you're going to set up a task that goes in your personal list or something like that. You can just easily put that in. But for right now, I'm just going to put it in the inbox. And then instead of sending now we're gonna select send later here and I'm gonna set up uh, a task for the first of each month to pay my credit card bill so I'm gonna change this option to repeat monthly I'm going to have it set up here for next month September 1st I'll set that and you can actually set up a time which is nice about particularly if you have a task like take out the trash which I've set up previously I don't have it actually put that task in my wonder list until evening when I'm actually home from work because I don't want to see it all the time while I'm sitting at my work but uh, this it can be I'll put it at first seven seven o'clock a.m. this uses military time so 0700 and then I'm going to put an asterisk and then type in Chase payment, so Chase Bank card payment. The one thing I did notice here is that in the body, it seems to put a space uh, by default when you click in this. So I I always back it up, hit the backspace button to make sure that you don't have any spaces, just to make sure that when Wonderlist parts parses out this email body, it gets to the right spot. By putting an asterisk here. Wonderlist is going to automatically star it. It's also going to put it in the inbox and then it's going to have Chase Payment. So I am just going to go ahead and then scroll down and click Send Later. That's going to put this email as pending. It's set up to send to September 1st and on, on the first of each month. So that's all good to go. I can click over on the right side to pending and see all of my um, pending tasks. Now actually if I go to Wonderlist, and this is an just an example of what it'll look like when you actually get it, although it hasn't really done this, but you can see that I'm in my inbox, it says Chase Payment, which is what I put into the body of that uh, email in later Gator, and, it ha and it's prioritized it by starring it here, uh, represented by the asterisk in, in the later Gator email. So it's as simple as that, you can finally get uh, recurring tasks into Wonderlist without having to manually input them and then put scheduled due dates around them. So hopefully that works. Check out latergator.ca um, and try it out. And if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. But appreciate you checking it out. Later.